this is it guys this is where you see quant just so you have an idea of how much volume and how much qnt is going to be required for this network of networks i want to show you a document right here or i should say a statement so this page here what you're seeing here this is coming from the secure asset transfer protocol so mit and the itf have created and quant have created what are called what is called the secure asset transfer protocol quant had approached the itf years ago two three years ago -ish, and said hey listen we need to re-architecture the internet we need to create a protocol to standardize the movement of digital assets from one network to another because right now the internet, the way it was created, it's not meant to move digital assets, which Gilbert Verdian being one of the top cybersecurity experts in the world had realized many years ago over to approximately 20 years ago that the internet was not architectured or the internet infrastructure was not laid to handle the movement of money. So this is why he approached the IETF, that's the Internet Engineering Task Force and MIT. And he said, listen, we need to cre create a standard. They agree. Because the ITF and MIT are the ones who have created literally every standard of the internet that we have today. So every protocol, standard, everything that makes the internet work today over the last 30 years is actually coming from the ITF and MIT. It doesn't go higher up than this. He created the Secure Asset Transfer Protocol with them, the Quant team, ITF, and they're working on a final draft right now. It's pretty much technically almost done and should probably launch, I'm guessing, maybe three to six months-ish. And so this is this page here, this statement, this paragraph here is coming from them. By reading this to you and explaining to you a few things, you're going to understand just how insane it is what Quant... Because Quant Fusion, from my understanding, is technically the launch of Quant Overlayer. This is where we're seeing the full potential of Quant, like I said. So this is going to give you a good idea when I read this. And now it's talking about the internet we have today first to give a comparable. So it says the TCP IP, sorry, the TCP IP internet that we have today is able today to handle billions of connections each day across the globe by virtue of its scalable architecture. As such, it is wise for the blockchain industry to reuse many of the engineering construct present in the internet architecture to solve the interoperability problem. They're referring to the interoperability problem of blockchains. So this is coming again, it's coming from the ITF, which Quant is working with to create the secure asset transfer protocol, which is technically almost done now. So they're saying that we need to look at the TCIP, TCP IP internet structure, and we should follow the internet architecture that we already have today. One such construct is the cross-domain gateway, which enables local networks to interoperate with one another while retaining their independence in running their internal protocols. In the context of tokenized assets and blockchain networks, the gateway model based on the internet architecture bounds each blockchain network by special nodes called transfer gateways or simply gateways. So we are going to host special nodes or technically what you would call transfer gateways with our QNT. We are the ones hosting that node or that gateway, which is the door that one network that permits, like it's the door that permits one network to connect to another network. Okay, so we are the ones that are securing this network. We are the ones that are hosting the roads for the internet of internets, or to say that the internet of trust. The reason Quant is called internet of trust is because Quant interconnects the whole world that exists to blockchain and blockchain represents trust. So that's why Gilbert Verdian said, we are the internet of trust. The internet of value is Ripple. That's different. A lot of confusion there. You can watch. I'll try to post the, the video on the Unified Ledger, QNT, XRP confusion there. And also I'll try. Actually, I'm going to also post another video at the end of this. I'm going to post another video explaining. It's one of my probably top performing videos on the quant being the Microsoft Windows of the fourth industrial age. Okay, so you'll, it'll help you really to grasp how big this is. So imagine every single network that exists so even every everything's being tokenized so citibank's gonna have city token jp morgan has jp morgan token mcdonald's gonna have their mcdonald token almost every corporation is gonna have a token at the end of the day you're gonna have different airlines that are gonna have their air miles tokenized so instead of offering air miles they're offering in form of a ticket while they're gonna offer them as a token they're already working on it so everything's being tokenized the gateways help to move one asset from one network to another 
It's not the same as the interledger protocol and the XRP ledger. The interledger protocol and the XRP ledger help to convert one asset from one type of asset to another type of asset. The XRP provides the liquidity for XLM. XRP being the most dominant one, probably get 9% of the volume, but it's not the same thing. The interledger protocol and XRP is the internal value. It's the exchange of one asset from one form of asset to another. The secure asset transfer protocol that Quant is building with the ITF and the API gateways that we will be hosting as QNT holders, we will be able to host gateways. That protocol, along with the gateways, are to move an asset from one network to another. That can be an asset, but that can also be data because we're connecting AI, we're connecting the Internet of Things, we're connecting money networks, we're connecting everything here. So it's to move data and to move also value. You have to understand everything requires QNT. To host gateways, you need QNT. For enterprises to get licenses to be able to use Quant Overledger and build multi chain applications, they need QNT. For developers to build on top of Overledger, they need to hold QNT. Anybody wants to send data or money over Quant Overledger, like all these CBDCs that are being built on top of Quant Overledger, which are using the shared ledger, XRP, XLM, and all those other blockchains, but for the CBDCs, it's primarily XRP and a bit of XLM network. So it all has to use QNT token. You cannot move, you cannot, MDAPs, multi-chain applications that are being built on Quant cannot function, cannot do anything and cannot move data and cannot move value without using QNT token. There's a fee paid for every time that value or data moves through the Quant Overledger network. That's what people have to understand. Everything requires QNT. And so now Fusion, the Fusion launch, they call it Fusion, but technically my understanding is just it's the full scale launch of quant. It's like I said, it's Gilbert's 20 year vision coming to life here. This is it guys. This is it. This is the full decentralization. Anybody can host a gateway because it all has to do with hosting gateways. How does this internet, how does this network of networks come truly alive? It's by everybody being able to host gateways and connecting any blockchain to quant overledger and hosting like any blockchain and this is it. This is how you get the network to be hyper decentralized and get its full benefits and connect to any network. And so the enterprises can now build freely on it because so many blockchains are connected to it and corporations and central banks, commercial banks, individuals can build MDAPs, corporations can build MDAPs, enterprises can build MDAPs. This is it. So thanks. And I'll, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to talk about sandboxes because people don't realize the ridiculous amount of utility use cases that are currently being built right now in these sandboxes, these CBDC sandboxes in the UK in the US and China, all over the world. We have these sandboxes and sandboxes means that they're literally creating MDAPs, creating solutions for CBDCs and all these other utility, all these other solutions. With blockchain, they're using quant, but they're not paying the fees yet. They're not, we're not seeing it touch the QNT yet. When these applications go live, all of these corporations and companies and tech companies, whoever's building in the sandbox needs to go and buy the license from quant. So once these solutions and sandboxes start going live, that's when you're going to see, in my opinion, another ridiculous amount of need for QNT. I'm going to try to explain it better in my next video. I'm going to do another video on quant and sandboxes because people don't realize what's being built in these sandboxes. And because quant has a free tier, it doesn't matter how big of a corporation you are. It doesn't matter what kind of MDAP you're building. If it's going to move a trillion dollars of value per day, or if it's going to connect, interconnect like a hundred different AIs, doesn't matter how big this MDAP is. You don't have to buy any QNT license from quant until it goes live. So they are testing and implementing right now, but they don't have to buy QNT yet, only when they go live. So imagine all of the different utility that's being built right now that is not requiring quant yet because they haven't flicked the switch. They haven't gone live. They're building and testing in an almost live, it's similar to a live environment. It's in a sandbox and they're getting ready to go live with the CBDCs. But again, they don't have to pay for the licenses yet. That's what most people don't realize. So I'm going to do a video on this. This is going to be a very significant one to watch the next one I'm going to launch. So thank you so much for your time, guys. I hope all is well. Please can subscribe. We sorry it took a while to create a video on my own. I was working on my different social medias. 
I was thinking to go a certain direction, but it took a lot of time. I do apologize that I haven't put out a deep dive on my own for a little while. And I thank you so much for your support, guys. God bless you and have a great day, great evening, great night, wherever you are. Ciao for now. To learn more and build generational wealth with crypto, join the Apex Crypto Community for free at apexcryptocommunity.com and ask anything freely because everyone's welcome here.